times and just jog it out afterwards. Brings us into our third component of our dynamic warm-up. I'll take these one at a time. Don't want to overwhelm you too much, but a lot of it involves lunges. So the first one we're starting off with are lunge walks with a twist. The lunge walks are a great exercise, but they're also a great dynamic movement because here we're involving all of the running muscles. We're involving all of the muscles in the legs, as well as we're getting a bit of a twist from the obliques. Very important. We're also focusing on stability here. You'll notice my torso isn't waving off to the side to side. I'm very strong, very tall. I'm just going to jog it back from there. Then I'm going to move into another series of lunge walks, but this time we're getting a little bit more of a stretch now. So as I lunge down, I push up, and then I bring my thigh in towards my chest by wrapping my hands around my shin and then pulling up nice and strong. And if you want to further this, you can pull or push up onto your toe get the calves going as well. Really get that nice pull into the chest. Really feel that nice stretch in the back of the leg, the hamstring and the glutes. And then jog it back. The next ones here are straight leg kicks. So what I'm doing here is I'm walking out and as I walk, every step or two, I'm taking my leg and I'm kicking it straight up in front of me. The purpose of this, again, basically to stretch out the hamstrings. Okay, so we're getting the hamstrings going through ranges of motion. Very important for running because the hamstrings are so integral in the movement of forward propulsion, right? Running, walking. So again, we're doing two sets. We go back to the lunge walks with the twist. I'm taking my right elbow towards my left knee as I go down, and then my left elbow towards my right knee, or my right elbow towards my left knee on every other step. Stay nice and stable, get a nice range of motion, Really focus on that dynamic movement. Again, you can touch down to the ankle if you want to further it a little bit. That's up to you. Jogging it back. Then we're moving back into the lunges with the knee pulls. So we're down. We're going to pull that knee, that thigh, right up towards the chest. Get that nice stretch in the back of the leg that is being pulled up. Again, if you want to further this, a little bit more balance and stability, you can step up onto the toe of the supporting leg. Again, form is essential here. Now, if you're doing this along with me, if you're if I'm on a video iPod or if I'm on your computer and I'm taking you through this, you should feel your body getting nice and warm right now. You'll also notice that your muscles are starting to really limber up. So again, we're going back into the straight leg kicks, full range of motion. You want to come up nice and high, keep the torso nice and tall, keep the abs nice and strong so that you do not bend forward. I'm not a very flexible guy, but I hope you get the picture from a lot of these exercises. Now, when I talk about lack of flexibility, you're gonna see it right here. So this one is an awesome exercise. We're basically going from a lunge into a straight leg extension. So right now, I'm in a lunge, forward lunge, deep down. I've got my right forearm towards the floor, right there. And then I'm extending back. So I'm trying to get that back leg, trying to get that back heel towards the floor while I try to straighten out my right leg. So I'm bringing my right leg down and forward and back. So we're stretching out the right leg from the upper hamstring right here into the belly of the hamstring. Again, you can do five, six, seven, eight, as many as you want, and then switch it up. The key is to keep it dynamic. We don't want to hold at either position. We want to keep it moving. So I'm down and forward, up and back. Down and forward, up and back. Now if you're flexible, you should be able to fully straighten out your leg as you extend back. I'm not a very flexible person, not yet at least, so therefore I can't fully do it. But I definitely feel a stretch as I'm going through this. There we go. Okay, so shake it out, run it off, and we're moving on to our next set. 